What's up, fight fans? I'm about to give you a walk through the VIP experience inside the UFC Apex. Let's go. All right, folks, before we head inside the UFC Apex, you know what I'm gonna ask you to do. Hit that subscribe button for me. I wanna make the best behind the scenes, raw footage that you can find on YouTube. And when you subscribe, it lets me know that you like videos like this. Also, leave a comment with what you might like to see and I'll try to make it happen. And then definitely hit that thumbs up like button to uh, spread this video to more fight fans. Special shout out to my friends on the MMA subreddit. You guys have supported my content like no other and I appreciate you very much. Now let's get inside. So here we go at the UFC Apex and for the VIP experience, they roll out the red carpet quite literally. Now this was just before doors were open to the fans, so they locked me out. But a security guard was right there on hand to let me inside. So here's what you see when you first arrive to the Apex. And after you check out through security, the red carpet continues. Now there's some guest check-in on the left for friends and family of UFC employees. And then straight ahead is the VIP check-in for the UFC VIP experience at the UFC Apex. As you continue on on the left side, those are all the jerseys from past seasons of The Ultimate Fighter. On the right is the merch, and they have posters from whatever fight night you're at. This one is Song versus Simone, and then they have some merchandise on sale, including Hasbulla t-shirts, of course, and you see across the top they have the Conor McGregor and the different uh, soft plushy toys or whatever they also have some official ufc venom gear with the crypto.com walkout jerseys right on them then they have a photo op here with a replica ufc championship belt so you can actually pick this up you can put it over your shoulder i imagine you could put it around your waist you can get a feel for how heavy it is it is actually quite heavy so just show you this from all different angles the world champion right on it and again, you can fling that over your shoulder and get yourself on the red carpet behind the velvet rope with the signage behind you. Perfect for Instagram or whatever social media platform you wanna put it on or just to show to your friends to brag. Now it says, welcome to the UFC VIP experience. This is the reception area, if you will. You can see the bar tables with the stools. Um, there's some tables and chairs towards the weigh-in stage. Just give you a good, view of what this room is all about before we head down the right side to where the food is now you can see it's still daytime out and it often is daytime at the ufc apex the first fight usually starts at one o'clock pacific time and that whole event ends at around seven o'clock so depending on what time of year it is it's going to be daylight out obviously as we head into the summer just another view and you can peek through those curtains we'll get there in just a moment in terms of where you actually sit and watch the fights here's the bar setup i checked with the bartenders it is open bar free of charge obviously gratuities accepted for them and then also included is the full catered spread so i went up to see what this looked like charcuterie board uh, looks like a veggie tray with some dip right there. Then you get into the grilled shrimp or shrimp cocktail. This one was empty. I wanted to see what it was and hadn't put it out yet. But on the other side, he had, I think, some sort of steak and cheese egg rolls and sweet potato fries. Basically, it looked like it was high quality bar food. And then, of course, a dessert tray down at the end now this stage right here i imagine you can also get your picture taken or take some photos up on this stage this is actually where all of the fighters weigh in for the ufc apex events and also when the pay-per-views are in las vegas oftentimes they'll have the weigh-ins here at the ufc apex so i stepped up on the stage and that's the view that the fighters will have now if you look to the left the sliding barn doors will open that is the arena floor and you can see the octagon right in the middle those seats that you see in the foreground the black tables that's where the media sits so guys like john morgan and oscar willis and whoever's covering the events for the various mma media outlets will sit right there we go back through the reception area and now we get to the red carpet as we enter the arena floor if you want to go from just eating and drinking in the reception area to watching some fights which is the reason we're all here anyways red carpet continues right onto the arena floor and this is how close you can be 
to watching real live UFC action. There's really only a handful of rows on each side of the octagon, and as you can see, the seats don't completely surround the octagon. Now, sometimes they'll put couches and tables in the front row if there's like an extra VIP experience, but they don't always have that. So for this particular event, they just had regular seating uh, throughout the apex. Now, I'll go to the back row, and I believe that these are the best seats in the house. The back row, I believe, are the best because when you see the view as I go to the middle, you also get your seats on uh, your names on the seats. If you go to the middle, and my camera is all the way zoomed out with the extra lens, but when I take that off and I just zoom it in normal focus, this is just me sitting in the back row. And you can see since you're up a couple of rows, your eye level with the all the action that's going on during the fights. Not to mention if you turn around, this is the fighter walk area. They will start at that back curtain and they go between the Modelo signs all the way around to the prep point. So if you sit in the back row, which is really only what, the fourth row, and you're up a couple of levels on the steps, you get the perfect view, in my opinion, of the fight, and you can just turn around and you can see all of the fighters' walks and, you know, take out your phone, get some good pictures, get some good videos of all the fighters walking. And so that's how it looks at the UFC Apex. And then you can, in between fights, head back onto the red carpet, out to get a drink and a bite to eat until the next fight starts.